Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am filming a video about a platinum pen and that is the Platinum PTL 5000A. And yes, that is a mouthful. Um, this pen is a very cheap uh, gold nib pen and I got this pen to try to sit out and see if it's a good everyday carry gold nib pen because Generally, when I work at school, right now I'm not working at school, I'm working from home, but when I work at um, school, there's like 1,500 high schoolers out there and uh, I don't not trust them, but I'm afraid of losing any expensive pen uh, when I go to work. So this was a good option for me to use at work. Um, it was about 40 bucks um, and it's a 14K nib, so I wasn't afraid of losing this one, so I thought I would try this out. Um, I'm going to show you on screen how it writes and also how it compares in size to the 3776. I have one on my desk right now um, and I've been using that a lot at home um, and they are very different. So I do want to show you how they are different um, and um, show you the nib and what it's like. So let's switch the shot and go to a close-up view of the Platinum PTL 5000A. Okay, welcome back to uh, the close-up shot. This is not a very close-up. We can uh, remedy that. And as you can see, this is a very simple looking pen in a nice red color. The red color is repeated on the clip. It has gold details. Um, let me change the lighting a little bit. It has gold details. And, um... Yeah, it's very simple. It is, it's a very lightweight, um, and it says Japan right there. Can we focus? Oh, it says platinum right there, and it says Japan right there. So it's a platinum pen, and it's not a very classic design that we generally see from platinum, but it is very good. Let me show you this nib. This nib always reminds me of the preppy nibs because it's small and it's a similar shape as you can see. Um, it has a nice P in there that the preppies have too. Um, flat feed, slightly see-through on the end as you can see. Very interesting to see that. Um, what bothers me about this pen, and I don't know if you've noticed it yet, is that most of the trimmings are gold colored and then you have a ring here that is silver. That is something really weird to me. Like, why? The eye for detail here was apparently not 100% there. Um, this pen does not come with a converter. I put one in. Because um, I had some. Because I have some 3776s. Um, but I don't know. I don't think you can expect that for... Uh, 40 bucks and then a 14k nib. I have a medium nib on here um, and yeah this pen also has that really feedbacky platinum feel. Um, I said I was going to compare it to a 3776. I have one here. It is a limited edition. I think this is a nice pure, pure, pure. Um, as you can see it's almost out of ink. I've been using this uh, for grading a lot. And this is like one of my favorites. Um, it's a fine nibbed platinum and it's super good for cheap paper. Um, that is a dirty nib, as you can see. Silver color nib. Let's put these together for a sec, like that. Um, as you can see, they are very different. Like, there's no, there's almost no comparison here. The uh, PTL, PTL 5000A um, has a very small nib, um, so very little gold use there, and which um, explains the pricing a little bit. Um, and um, as you can see, I'll cap both of them. This is screw cap. And this is a push, push. Um, they're different shapes. The um, PTL is what I'm just going to call it. Is much slimmer. Um, lengthwise, they're about the same. 
Um, but I think you can see that the 3776 has a much more luxurious um, look to it. Um, of course, this is a flat top, this is a cigar shape, um, and this is like, this is gonna sound rude, this is an upgraded preppy with a gold nib. Um, and I love the preppy, there's nothing wrong with that, and I think it's fine that um, they brought this out like this. Um, there is a black version of this, um, which is also very nice. I like the red one um, because I like color. Um, but yeah, different, very different from the 3776. Price point also very different. Although I must say, you can get you can get the 3776 in the reg regular uh, lineup fairly cheaply from uh, eBay in Japan, so you could try that. Okay, let's let's ink it up because I have not inked it yet. Um, one thing I would like to say, I don't like platinum converters very much. It always feels like they're um, getting unscrewed. Like I don't know, maybe it's just me. Lavender purple by Montblanc in this funky as bottle. I love it. Okay, that's not full at all. I don't care. I have like 14 pens inked. I don't need a full fill. A full fill does not fulfill me right now. Screw this back on. And let's go to a writing sample. Oop. Close the bottle before you do anything else. Love this horseshoe shaped bottle. Very nice. It's one of the only Montblanc inks I've decided is worth buying. Okay. The... Uh, I spattered. Look. Can you focus, camera? I cannot. Okay. How about now? Okay. Platinum. PTL 5000A. Um, medium nib. Great writing by me. Lavender. Purple. And I don't know if you can hear this nib. It's a very noisy nib. And that is, that is a very platinum thing. Like that feedback is sometimes something you can hear. So this is, this is the medium, medium. medium, then I will show you what a platinum fine looks like. Medium. And that is the fine. Let's can zoom in on that. Like, that is a big, big difference. Um, and for journal writing, I prefer the medium. For work, I prefer the fine, because this fine you can use on any paper. Um, this, however, um, you cannot use on any paper. So, yeah, feedback. But still lovely. The flow flows really good. And yeah, I have no complaints about this pen. This is, I've never tried to flex this. Ooh, did not expect that. Um, I wouldn't say it's a flex nib, but it is not stiff at all. It is bounce. So, yeah. You could get some, um, character out of this nib. That is not how you spell character. Um, out of this nib. Um, but yeah, it's not a flex pen. Um, sorry for that spelling mistake, guys. I've been, um... Very busy with work, I'm fairly tired, but I did want to film this video for you, um, and I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I inked this pen again because I'm gonna enjoy using it in my journal. And I found out that it's semi flexy. Um, do it at your own risk, please. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. Thank you guys. Bye bye.